Section 3. In this section, you will hear a discussion about shopping habits. First look at questions 21 to 24. As you listen to the first part of the discussion, answer questions 21 to 24. Ah, excuse me, I wonder if you'd mind answering a few questions. You see, I'm doing a project. Fine, what's this on? Well, I'm looking at the people's shopping habits. OK. Can I ask you, first of all, are you a student? Well, I was a student here last year, but since then I've left, and I'm working in a bank now as a cashier. I just came to see a friend. Oh, that's OK. So how often do you go shopping? Oh, I buy a lot of books. Should I exclude books? Oh, if you leave books aside, what about shopping for all of your personal items, study things and that sort of thing? OK, because I go to the supermarket almost every day, it seems the other things I'd say I tend to do it every other week. And do you spend the same amount each time? I guess so. I only have about £100 a month spare, so I'd probably spend about £50 each time. What sort of shops do you like best? The department store or the small retail outlets? Oh, I like big department stores, so everything's in one place. The weather's so bad, so it's a bit miserable trudging from one little shop to another. Great. What do you find most difficult to buy? What do you mean? Well, what do you have to really search for? What takes you a long time to find? Oh, jeans, definitely. You can get hold of a sweater or a CD in a moment, but with jeans I can spend all afternoon and still not find a pair that fits. OK, one last question. Who do you usually shop with? Now, I usually go shopping on my own, but if I want to make it more of a social occasion, with friends, to have a coffee and things, I often go with colleagues from work, you know, in our lunch hour. Well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. No problem. Before the next part begins, you will have a chance to look at questions 25 to 30. As you listen, answer questions 25 to 30. Hello, Dale. How did you get on with your shopping inquiries? Well, I got 50 people to answer questions and the results were quite interesting. OK, let's have a look. Well, those were handouts and here you can see that the majority of people I interviewed said they went shopping once a week. Most often, that was the weekend. Right. For those people who spend enormous amounts of money, if you see this chart, you can see that half the people spend £45 a month and while 15% of people spend more than that, an average of £75, the rest spend relatively small amounts. Even the regular shoppers spend no more than £20 a month. Window shoppers? Yes, I asked them what kinds of shops they prefer, and the response was unanimous. Everyone went for department stores. I think that's what young people today want. That's understandable, and that's a useful statistic, I think. I also talked to them about the things they found most difficult to buy. I thought the answer was going to be something like books or study materials, but it's always clothes. They have problems with things related to hobbies. As far as sportswear is concerned, they complain about the lack of shops that sell it. Not many had trouble buying sweaters and things like that, but shoes and trousers were really problematic. Was that, again, because there just isn't enough variety? Yes, they say everywhere they just come across the same styles, so they just give up after a while. Uh, I know what they mean. Lastly, I asked them whom they want to shop with. That is the end of section three. You will now have half a minute to check your answers.